Hello YouTube! I am Pinstar and this is Pinstar Plays Tavern Keeper. Well, the demo. Um, so, Tavern Keeper is a game made by Greenheart Studios. Greenheart Studios, or Greenheart Games I should say, um, is the studio that produced Game Dev Tycoon, the second series that I ever covered on my channel ever, and I've covered it like two, three times. I love that game. Um, well, it's taken them quite a while to get their second game, um, uh, well, not out the door, but in production here, but we finally have a, a somewhat playable version of it. Um, so the demo is out now. Uh, you can go and get it for free um, on their Steam page. Um, but let's, uh, let's dive into it real quick. Give it, give it a see, and see what there are in the demo. And I've, I've played through this once before, um, so I'm going to be more about analyzing some of the potential gameplay elements um, and how they might be expanded on in the full version. I do not have any. Oh, hang on. So an interesting take on the uh, uh, on the tutorial here. I think. I guess this is a basic uh, check for recognition of standard stuff. One thing that this does do is it shows you what a more fully operational um, tavern might look like. Can you locate the storeroom? Very good. The storeroom is also a great place to hide from annoying customers. I think they're going the route of like two point uh, hospital here, uh, as far as like the tongue in cheek type humor. So I guess there are storyline stuff that you got to do uh, on these. He frowns, giving his breastplate a polish with a bar towel. <laughs> Not much of a greeting. In stories, people usually welcome heroes with more grateful bowing. Never mind, I don't have time to educate the help. I have an epic journey to begin, and those usually start with slaying beasties on behalf of some random nobody. He stares expectantly at you. It's awkward. Hello, that would be you. Do you have a quest for me or not? Yeah, <laughs> sit your butt down. Good thinking. The best tales start with heroes brooding in corners. If anyone comes in with a magic ring or a prophecy or something, send them my way. That'll be the call to adventure. He takes a few steps away and then glances back. Actually, you haven't heard any adventurous prophecies that match my description, have you? Yeah. Really? I don't have to do any fighting or dungeon crawling? The whole world isn't hinging on my valiant deeds? I could just hang out? <laughs> and chill a little bit, please. Sword sheathed. You may 
managed to defuse the situation? Impressive. I thought for sure that would be a disaster. Let's move on. So the first time I played this one, I, I guess I screwed it up and he started a giant bar fight. So I guess there will be some events that you need to respond to um, and strategically responding to them will yield different outcomes. Makes sense. Good work. I don't know if they'll all be full voiced narrative. Yep, nested tool tips. Phenomenal work. You mastered tool tips and thus the secret to mastering the I mean every good management game needs to have good tool tips. Room is ready, but you're missing a vital piece, the tap. So so too much room, not enough tap. Wherever you like. Um You let me rotate with R? Yes, you do. It's that easy. Ready to hire your first staffer? Um, not that great of a server. Easily bribed. Uh, no. Stress berserker. Okay. Unskilled worker. Um, still not that great. Oh, Diana, uh, you are much better here. The environment isn't clean. Well, you've got a decent. All right, Diana. Come on, come on in. Really? Based on those qualifications. Hey, they're actually good. What are you talking about? Okay, so we got to pick our, our hooch that we want to sell here. Um, so little little breakdown on uh, in here. So we need to worry about the stars based on, on the flavor of the beer. Um, and being that these have different flavor ratings, I'm wondering if we can brew our own eventually, not in the demo. It also shows who enjoys it. Yeah, flavor profile. So certain brews will have certain profiles and certain races will like those different flavor profiles. Um, and also it has its own spoil rate. Um, some things spoiling faster than others. Um, so scrape barrel. All right, blood wine, much better. Um, one and a half stars. Humans really like it. Same spoil rate. We got Mudweiser, which is even better. Um, it's a little more expensive, or Mudweiser Extreme. Dogs Bitter. Um, humans, yeah, not so much. Druid's Foot, it's all about the humans. I mean, Druid's Foot, well, actually, that's even more expensive. Yeah, you know what, Mudweiser Extreme. Let's get, let's get a couple of these. Select drink, Mudweiser Extreme. Now there are other races besides humans in here. I think we just have to encounter the race before we get a chance to, to see them because then we could see their preferences. There might be a secondary type of booze that the humans might not enjoy so much, but maybe the orcs might uh, enjoy better. Tavern name. Um, let 
the strategy and tactics. Sounds good to me. All right, looks like we have a few humans coming in. We can see here, yeah, when when the different uh, events will take place here. I, I like I like the UI. It is it is as stylized as the base game's graphics are. Patrons and in, uh, interacting with each other. I like that. All right, so we've got a bunch of different things here, it's not all implemented, but atmosphere and decor, energy, patience. Ooh, looks like we got a dwarf. Excuse me. Yeah, the devs. Uh, I was I was part of a um, uh, a dev preview of this, and uh, they were really really proud of this element customization system. We get a taste of it here, but we'll be sh we'll be showing that off a bit more. Yeah, all these different things, but yeah, only a few things here. Let's go with the owl. Um, <laughs> yeah, that that wouldn't be a, a awkward owl staring up, uh, staring up at you from below the thing. Sure, why not? What do you got here? Storage. Okay, we only have so much. I do think we need a storeroom. Um, let's see, best place for the storeroom probably be right back here. Yeah, I don't think we can edit the actual space proper. Um, yeah, storeroom proper, little zone. We'll get a couple pallets in here. And a larder shelf. That works. Let's get another employee too. Riley. What do we got here? Unskilled worker, stress eater. Um, what's your other thing here? Messy. No, thank you. Bufflin. Oh yeah, you're the stress berserker. Um, you know what? We could use a janitor. And you're cheap too. All right, now that we have a few other races, do we have, um, does it does it actually give us uh, mention of some of the others? I guess not. The first time I played through it was, um, you know, we'll go, let's, let's get a couple of blood wines while we're at it. All right, read the Gazette. Um, where is the Gazette? Oh, that would be the Gazette. Here's if it already in bulk, dethrone him if expressed disappointment. Yeah, this is to the end soothsayers. This is just a demo. Place a dartboard. I think I can handle that. 
Uh, dartboard. I'm assuming we could probably customize this too if we really wanted to. Find the hidden coin. I couldn't find this thing in my first playthrough of this. And you'd think with somebody with a raccoon avatar, finding the shi the random hidden shiny would be kind of kind of my thing, but apparently not. Yeah, he can send you on your way. I am sure somebody in the comments is going to spot this thing, this this coin, and say, Pinstar, you passed it like five times. Why didn't you click it? It was right by the whatever. But, man, and I'm going to keep looking. Maybe, maybe I will have an epiphany as to where this dang coin is. It's not these little circular things in the flowers. I, I, that was the first thing that caught my, my eye. Nope, that's just a that's just a random glowy bit, but not necessarily from the coin. Now the star itself, what do we need? Uh, fifteen fifteen patrons visit our thing. Drinks rated one star. Yeah, and I think to get rated one star, we need a second tap with a sec serving a second type of booze. So let's uh, let's do that. And yeah, let's get the blood wine going since we got I, I got that second kind for a reason. All right, we have service here, a energy. Oh, bulletin board, eh? You need to post something on the bulletin board. Let me get that for you. Even though it's not a quest, we got a skeleton. You hear a dry, rhythmic clatter approaching the front door of the tavern. Could it be a peddler selling kindling or a shaman's raffle stick? But when the door opens, it's a skeleton standing on the stoop. It shambles in. Its skull swivels, mixing you with a baleful undead. I do like I do like the voice acting of the of the storyteller. Slowly, the ghastly voice of death spilling forth. Cheers, mate, and breath of chili out. You open. Many thanks, many thanks. The name's Cuthbert. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. Those skulls seem already to grin by default. Somehow the skeleton seems to smile. One off the tap, if you please. I don't drink much, but I enjoy holding the mug and sloshing it around. Find the ritual of it soothing, I suppose. Lifts the spirits. I could use a bit of that. Oh, just having a bit of a mid-death crisis. <laughs> mid-death crisis. You serve the drink. Cuthbert clasps it, tapping his bony fingers against the pewter mug. Truth is, what heart? Started to wonder, did I become a dungeon henchman because it was what I wanted or because it was expected of me? I could be missing out on a job I really love. Um, yeah, change something up. I want a job where I can chat with people. Something like what you do. Cuthbert sighs, the mournful sound coming from deep in his open ribcage in a way that makes no sense whatsoever. He brings the mug up to his skull and taps the rim against his teeth. In the dungeon, it's always about blocking doors and doing spooky dances. Hardly anyone stops to talk before they knock my skull. Oh, you must have been from dun from Dungeon Keeper. Skeletons give everybody the willies. Whenever I'm out and about on errands, people run the other way. Even shopkeepers. Makes doing the groceries right difficult. Cuthbert waves his finger bones in a vaguely dismissive gesture. Who would hire an employee that makes their customers squeamish? You've talked me into it. I'm headed down to that dungeon right now and turning 
Oh yeah, so here's our bulletin board poster. I'm wondering, so that that could have heroes interacting with it. People, like, I have a feeling this is going to turn into like almost like a Dungeons and Dragons type tavern for quests and whatnot. Looks like we got to refill the tap of uh, Mudweiser Extreme. Luckily, I bought a second barrel of that. Aha! Here's where we get the extra ratings on there. Bloodwine, 85% approval. Mudweiser Extremes. More about item ratings. They're very okay, okay. Tier 1 Dwarf ratings. Tier 1 Orc ratings for Bloodwine. And then Dwarf Humans and halfling halflings do not like either of those so we 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 we're, we're gathering information we we uh, need to wait for our uh, supplier to come back all right cutbert man look at all this stuff you've got Slow poke, clumsy, doesn't mind if it's cold, immune to disease. I mean, he's a really good server, so why not? As a skeleton, some patrons might find Cuthbert a little frightening. Also, he hardly sleeps, but no one's perfect. That doesn't sound like a bad thing to me. Never mind. Let's save that story for the full game. Carry on. Speaking of sleep, let's get a second bed in there. I figure for th with three workers, two beds, especially with one worker who doesn't sleep as much. Oh, you're looking for a bathroom. Um, Hang on. I got you covered. All right, so there is ways to add walls and doors. Uh, outdoors, outhouse. Do I? Oh, I am two bucks short. Somebody buy a drink. There we go. Now we can actually add an outhouse. Is this a doorway? Yes, it is. There we go. Don't need you making a mess in the tavern. There was a noticed in the um, in the thing. There is an option to convert toilet sounds to cat meowing. That seems like a very specific replacement. Like I've heard of like arachnophobia modes, randomly replacing spiders with like cats um, or cat image, cat pictures or whatnot. All right, let's speed things along since it looks like we are getting close to closing time. Seems we're in for a rainy night. Let our staff uh, rest themselves up. Now there will be a way to start cooking food later on, but I don't think that's in the demo. Oh yeah, looking for the looking for the coin. Still looking for that coin.
we are in the red well yeah but i mean as soon as somebody buys something or maybe if i find that coin then we won't be in the red anymore those are just fireflies i don't know if it'll be easier or harder to find it and in, in, in the dark in the rain no that's just the creepy owl see this is why i bought the second bed A skeleton does not need sleep as much. I mean, should I be like ultra zoomed in? Is it like between the floorboards or something? Or, oh wait, wait, got it. But it didn't actually let me collect it. Dang, all right, well at least I found it. But yeah, so that that one coin that 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 that'll be our shortfall or, or make up our shortfall. We should get enough patrons to get our first star in in the next day. Let's just fast forward. Okay, now do we get oh house ale orc I mean, it's an it's a sec it's an option. Oh yeah, we don't have any money. We'll we'll buy stuff when we start selling stuff. It takes money to make money, yeah. A one star rating already. You're a natural. Click on the message on the right to click. It does indeed. Clearly you have take a hundred gold and a few furniture options. When you've had enough, finish the demo. All right, well, now that we have our stuff, we'll, uh, we'll buy another blood wine and we'll get the two house ale. And we'll get one more tap because I think having a wide variety of uh, of think booze up for offer is going to be an important thing mm, that doesn't fit there oh that'll fit there nicely uh yeah we'll do house sale because while it does appear distinct there might be a race that really really likes the house ale or maybe it's just you know backwater swell and stinks And that's all you had, right? Yeah. So we got as much as we could. Comfy chair, storage shelf, dead sheet, crocodile skin mat, lantern, work schedule, locker. All right, so you know, this is, like I said, just a peek into the demo here. I am looking forward to um, taking a much in-depth look at this because this is definitely right down my, uh, my uh, alley here. But yeah, we can finish the demo. Now, I mean, we took all this time to, to build this up. Why would we even? Uh, no, never mind. Oh, it's it ruined it ruined the impulse with a confirmation. Oh, 
Well, it's nice to see that there's a disaster system in, in place here. I did not get to see that last time because I just let the demo peter out. But I figured it'd be more exciting. All right, folks. So expect to see more uh, more of this once um, once we have uh, a, a proper build out, a full build. I will definitely be covering this. So if you guys like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment. Good, bad, or indifferent, your feedback's always welcome. So until next time, it's been Pinstar signing out. See ya. 